What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Jake with Export Academy. In the last video we talked about pointer scanning with Cheat Engine to find static addresses. In this video I'm going to talk to you about data types. I'm going to try and keep this video as short and as precise as possible, but I hope you learn a lot from it. Let's check it out. What is a data type exactly and how does it affect your scanning? Well, Google's definition is a particular kind of data item as defined by the values it can take, the programming language used, or the operations that can be formed on it. So what does that mean? Well, let me show you an example. So here is the example I made with different data types in use for the character in Call of Duty World War II. You can see that we defined the health and the magazine ammo, stored ammo, and the player's X and Y Z positions. This is an example showing two different data types in use. We have an integer, which is a 4-byte value that you can scan with Cheat Engine, and a float value, which is a decimal value. So if you were to try to scan for your player's X and Y Z position, you won't find it using a 4-byte scan. You have to change the scan type to a float and vice versa. So I'm going to walk you through the different kinds of data types and the most common uses. So of course the first scan type we have is 1-byte. One 1-byte one values aren't used much except for 8-bit emulators, for example old games such as Mario and Atari styled games. However, if you know the value that you want to scan for is a whole number, you can use this type of scan to help you find it if you can't if you don't know exactly what kind of data type it is. Next scan type we have is of course the 2-byte scan which is a a uh, value that can hold a number between 0 and 65,536. Or if it is signed value, meaning it can go negative, it is negative 32,768 to 32,767. You really won't use 2 byte scans much unless you're scanning old DOS games and other 16 bit applications. Here's an example of Mortal Kombat. So of course the next value is the 4 byte scan. The 4 byte scan is the holy grail of scan types because it finds just about everything in any game except for decimal values. So a 4 byte scan is 0 to 4.2 billion or negative 2.1 billion to positive 2.1 billion. So 9 times out of 10 when you're trying to find a value with Cheat Engine, a 4 byte scan is what you will use. So moving on, we have the 8 byte scan. You will probably never ever use the 8 byte scan unless you're scanning for a 64 bit application, which is pretty rare, so I'm not really going to cover much on it. Next up, we have the float. Again, like the 4 byte value, the float is the other most important scan type you can do if you're searching for a decimal value. You can change the precision of your search by adding a decimal point to the value that you want to scan for. For example, Cheat Engine's help website said, if you scan for 12, it will find all values between 11.5 and 12.4. So if you scan for 12.0, results in values between 11.95 and 12.04. Pretty cool. Next up on the list is the double. Basically, double is the same thing as a float, except the data length is longer, which basically is more precise. Some games will use this, however, it's not really a common scan type for you to use. Again, it is also a decimal type value. So of course, we have text. Now getting into text, if you have basic knowledge of programming, most text in games or applications is stored in a string. So a string is a continuous sequence of bytes. So for instance, a character's name is most likely stored in a string, so you can switch your data type to text and search for your name in the game. This is particularly useful because most values involving your character are stored by your name in memory. So you can use this as an easy way to find ammo, health, whatever. Next up on the list is the Array of Byte Scan, also known as an AOB scan. You can use this scan if you know the exact bytes that you want to scan for. This is useful if you want to narrow down results really fast. For example, if you have your health value that is stored at certain bytes all the time, you can just search for those array of bytes and it'll pull up your health right next to it, usually with just one scan. Last but not least, we have the all scan. The all scan basically searches for every numerical value in the game. Now, of course, this is the largest scan and most time consuming, but it, you can use it if you cannot find a value in the game or you're not sure what the data type is. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video helped you understand data types a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.